Hi, folks. Along with Corey Heppela, I'm Bill Dolman. We are still one very long week away yep. from the NFL draft, and we still don't know who Rick Smith and the Texans will take with number one or if they'll even keep that pick. But other than that, uh, well, we know everything. <laughs> or at least we maintain like we do. You look like you do, by yeah, the way. Yes, thank you. <laughs> the Rockets on their way to Portland after forcing a game six last night. That's our top story. Rockets practiced in Houston earlier today, just hours after a 108-98 win in game five. Pat Beverly did practice, but was limited. He's been sick, only managed 21 minutes last night. As Layla Rahimi reports, Beverly did start last night, but it was his backup and the bench who shined. Hey, hey, remember Lynn Sanity? It's back! Game five was a win that saved the Rockets' season but one that the team says hasn't shown its full potential. Coach McHale summed it up best when he came in the locker room yesterday. He was kind of like, all right, um, we still haven't played our best game yet, but we're closer. We haven't given, our, given them our best shot yet, so we, we, you know, we still got a, still got a lot left in the tank that we can go to. While the Rockets shied away from talking about momentum as a series, they did discuss the importance of getting back to their style of play. Holding the Blazers to less than 100 points in Game 5, also outscoring their bench 34-5. to 5. 21 of those points were from Jeremy Lane, who's glad he found his rhythm. That's everything. That's everything. Uh, just getting my flow, getting rhythm, getting confidence, getting um, seeing shots go in, and then um, getting to that point where it felt like you know, um, you know, I was, everything I was going to shoot was hopefully going to go in. That's kind of the feeling you always want to have as a player. After the game, Lynn admitted he had had a rough couple of days, but his team encouraged him to stay upbeat, resulting in his winning performance. I told him, hey, hang in there, keep playing hard, keep going after it, and good things will happen. I told him I want to see some of that in sanity, and uh, he kind of he looked at me like, uh, that was a, a long time ago, uh, but you know, I just want him to, to have confidence in himself. As for the rest of the Rockets, they are now tasked with going back to Portland for another season-deciding game and have another chance for playing the kind of game their coach wants to see. We went through spurts of playing, you know, Rockets basketball uh, offensively and defensively, but um, as a total total game, we haven't put one together yet, and. Uh, uh, tomorrow will be the perfect time. You gotta want to be in these type of situations, you know, to where you're playing on the team's home floor. I've been in this situation before, and I know how tough it is, you know. But if you believe, then anything's possible. Including a little potential insanity. With the Rockets, Layla Rahimi, CSN.